Okay, we have Jessica here from Denton, uh, Maryland. Denton, Maryland, right? Yes. Okay, Jessica is joining us with her top tips on how to pass the NASM exam on her on your first attempt. Okay, so Jessica, let's start off with uh, just tell us uh, you recently passed the yeah. NASM exam, right? And uh, how long how long did you study for? Like, what was the total time? So I have a full-time job and I also have three young kids. So it took me quite a while to study and retain all the information. Um, I, I couldn't just read the book and remember it. I had to act stuff out like the, you know, overhead squat, you know, do assessments on my kids, you know, and just actually do it to remember everything and remember the overactive and underactive muscles and, you know, the, the knee valgus and all that stuff I had to remember and actually do it to know it. Okay. So walk us through that. Like, um, so did you say you were work, working full time? Yes. Working full time and you have three young kids and you studied and you passed this, right? Yes. Okay. Congrats again on passing the exam. So walk us through how, uh, you, you know, engage with your daughter or your, your kids to help you through this process. What exactly did you do? So I would have them actually do the overhead squat <laughs> if their knees were caving in or if they were bowing out or if they're, you know, the arms wouldn't extend straight or if their shoulders, you know, I just looked to see, and I would actually assess them. Like I was their trainer. Um, <laughs> okay. My, my kids also helped me when I would write um, note cards out, they would read me the question and I'd answer it. We, we did a lot of stuff together to help me because I'm more of a visual learner. I couldn't read the book and memorize everything from the book. Okay. So, um, about how much time would you study each day or in a weekly basis? What was your study routine? I would say I study at least an hour to two hours every day and it may have been, may have been broken up, but. Tell tell, tell us more about that. An hour to two hours. Was it, uh, in the morning? Was it late in the evening? So I would study in the morning before work. And then before I went to bed, I would study some more. And throughout the day, I did use the uh, note cards or the flashcards off of NASM Edge mm. the, and also the um, quiz prep. Okay. Yeah, the fitness prep app. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so when you studied, what exactly did you do? What did that look like? So for some of the other folks that are still getting ready for their exam, when you sat there, did you, did you just read the book? Did you read, write, and recite? Did you, um, did you read and then write? What was your study routine like? So I would read and I would do the quizzes at the end of the chapters. And what I did not understand, I would write everything down, highlight, do note cards, and just say it over and over again. I would wake up thinking about the over and under active <laughs> muscle. I kid you not. I'd wake up in the morning and I'd say, okay, so if you're doing a uh, squat, this is overactive. This is under, like, that's how I, I lived for the like, mm. six, trying to figure everything out. I was scared to death to take the test. I did not think I would pay us. Yeah. You know, I think I, a lot of people are in the same boat. Once you got done taking the test, how did you feel? Did you feel like, Oh, I, I passed this thing. Oh, I jumped up and down with a proctor on the computer. <laughs> and I ran out to the living room and yelled, I passed. And my kids started. <laughs> it was, it was, a. Uh, Pretty exciting moment. Okay. It, let me ask you this. Some of those are really, they're gunning for it right now and, and they, they might get bored or they might get distracted or whatever the case is in their studying. What words of, of encouragement would you give the folks right now that are still studying? Are there anything else that you feel that you can help them in passing this exam? Um, I did. Like if I was driving by myself, I would turn on the YouTube videos so I could listen as I was driving or mm. by went walk, I would turn on like the body by design videos or whatever videos pertain mm. to, you know, NASM's, uh, seventh edition, uh, book. And I would listen. Um, I also like, was, I was hearing, I lost my thought. Would you, would you listen on your way to work or on your way home to work? Is it during a commute? Yes. As long okay. as I, didn't hear, I would, I would listen. If I was walking in the evening by myself, I would listen. Okay. Okay. Now you went into the exam and during the study, you were concerned. You didn't think you were going to pass, right? Yes. I, under, I know that 
um, on Facebook, a lot of people said the wording would throw you off and it did. The wording does throw you off. But if you know what you're talking about, if you Mm -hmm. know what they're asking you, then you'll get it right. Like no matter which way they word it, you'll, Mm. you'll. Yeah. That seems like a common theme that we have. We hear from students that don't just memorize. You've got to, you got to know the stuff you got to know the concepts because if they do throw you off with the words, you're going to, you're going to still get it. So uh, awesome. Any last words, anything else that you might recommend to the students out there that are still studying? Yes. You know, don't be too hard on yourself and study to you understand it in a way that you understand it. I had to highlight, I colored, I played different games. I mm. figured it kids. And then I remember different things with my kids during mm. the time. I would think back. Okay. I did this with grace. Oh, I know the answer. So to apply it in your everyday, if you can, if you're doing something, you know, um, working out at home, apply it to your workout when you're doing certain exercises, think about what muscle you're using, what muscles overactive, what muscles underactive. Mm. Um, I also had a muscle book that had all the bones and all the muscles. So I left that out and opened by my bed stand in case I couldn't remember something I'd look at and be like, Oh, that's a trapezius. That's a lower traps. I would look at it. Remember, um, Mm. when you take your test, go slow. You've got, you know, two hours, I think it was to do this test and bookmark anything you're not sure about and go back because they do ask questions sometimes that are the same, mm. but work it differently. Mm. So you did it remotely, correct? Yes. Mm. Any recommendations on those that are going to do it remotely? Make sure you're in a quiet room with no distractions mm. and to breathe and just read the questions. It's very nerve wracking trying to get it set up. Mm-hmm. It almost took an hour just to set me up. From wow. my So once, I mean, that was overwhelming to begin with. So then, you know, you're a little bit nervous and that's going on. You're thinking it's not going to work and it did. And then it took me, I took the whole amount of time to take my test. Mm. I read the questions and then I bookmarked anything I wasn't sure about. And then I went back and read them and took my time and answered them. And when awesome. it said I was beyond. <laughs> you were floored. You were jumping up and down. Uh, Jessica, congratulations again. Thank you so much for coming on here, taking some time to, to help these other students pass their, their NASM exam. Uh, one last question for you. How do you plan to apply this to help others? What, what is, uh, you don't have to tell me the exact business plan or what you're going to do, but how are you going to take this certification and, and you know, use your passion to help others? So I, um, I worked at the Y for lots of, for eight years and I had, there we go. Who wanted me to train them, but I didn't want to train them until I was certified. Mm. Um, I, all I want to do is make people feel good about themselves and not to hurt themselves as they, they work out. Like I would watch classes and I could see people like rushing through, not, you know, engaging their core, not their shoulders weren't back. They weren't standing Mm. right doomed to hurt themselves. So I wanted to help in any way I could. So, so cool. So thank you again so much for taking the time. Guys, if you're listening to this video and any of this information was helpful, please give uh, Jessica thanks below. Jessica, if you don't mind, will you post a photo of that anatomy book that you mentioned that you used for studying? So when we get done with this, this will be in the thread somewhere. Just in the comments, just post a photo of that book. I think that'll be helpful for everyone. Um, guys, if you have some tips out there that you think will help some of these other students that are in this group, We want to interview you. Comment below. Let us know that you've got some unique tips that will also help some other students that are studying, and we will bring you on to this. Jessica, have a great one. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.